far from being full. And we are underway. Manute not had, didn't even have to jump. Just tipped it over to Richmond, and Philadelphia was not even going to contest it. So Golden State will get a chance to score first. Jaminski on ball. Look at Manute's move to the hoop. But look, shot and look who got the rebound. Charles Barkley wouldn't go. Manute, the flat-footed rebound. Manute's flat-footed hook. Barkley's flat-footed rebound. Or Hardaway trying to get it over to Teagle, who is cutting in from the right side. Ball hit the glass. Now it comes to to six to go in the first thanks to modern technology we can see the Barkley duck but watch right here in the picture you can see Richmond at the bottom here guarding Hawkins he doesn't watch the ball look how his head is turned Barkley throws it into Jaminski gets it back now he turns he sees Charles it's too late Charles takes it home for the easy dunk 40 pound difference as there's about a 80 pound difference between Mahorn and Eagles up against Hall see again what Charles did you see how he used his body on that play to go into the ball and then take the ball away from him that's the way you get success against the shot blocking ability because he can't be moved out of the way now watch the play again Charles coming in the picture 34 he moves inside to get inside position now watch he'll jump back boom into ball you see how he moved him out of the way with his body laid it in that's smart basketball second foul called against Manute fourth team foul and Barker going to apply some backcourt pressure beaten easily by the Sixers Barkley behind the back Hawkins against Manute it wouldn't go, but now the big guy's in trouble for Golden State. That is three personal fouls in the first quarter on the new goal. Well, Charles Barkley with the behind-the-back pass gets the crowd into him. Now he turn the body. That's it. Get the body into him when he comes after you. Bring the ball away from him. That's the way you go up against the uh, Manute, and you've seen three examples of how well it can work for him. Richmond in traffic. Had the shot altered. Barkley recovers. It's Dawkins and Barkley. Sir Charles for two. Barkley has nine in the first quarter. We are tied. Up. There's Barkley with his fifth rebound of the night and two more points. He has 11. He still hasn't missed from the field. Five out of five. Sixers up by one. Percy Hawkins also back in along with Barkley. The whistle from Hugh Hollins. That's going to be on Barkley. Well, watch the action. Look at the top of your screen. Look at Barkley being pushed out, pushed out. Now, what's going to happen on the shot? Watch. He's got him hooked now. Then he just throws his man out of the way. That's where the foul occurred. And Charles argued that now. Wouldn't go. And Barkley. Again, shot wouldn't go. He's just been ice cold out there with that jumper for the last four or five ball games. Only once in double figures in the last half dozen games. Barkley and it bounced right back to him, muscles his way underneath and gets two. Barkley now with 13 and he's six for out of it's Winston Garland who was their starting point guard last year. Charles Barkley still hasn't missed from outside. He's seven for seven from the field, 50. At his size, only six feet, has had a couple of triple doubles this year. Good rebounder for a small guy. Mullen got up quickly. Yeah, he did. He took a pretty good shot there. I mean, Charles, Charles laid the hammer on him. And Chris crashed into that support and uh, didn't want to make any trouble with Charlie. Great lead pass on the bounce. Now watch him. Watch Charles. Whack off. He just tomahawked him across the left of his shoulder and drove him down to the ground. And there's a payback. If you can call it that. I wouldn't Chris, say that was Chris, anywhere Chris close. Maybe not as strong as Sir Charles. <laughs> and maybe not as dangerous at times as Sir Charles. Well, watch the way Charles gets that position inside. He's able to back Teagle, and that's when he knocked it out. Now, look what he does here. Look how he'll hold off with the leg. Hold off, hold him off, hold him off. Now he pushes him, got away with the push, overcomes Mullen to play defense, and he hit him pretty good, but nothing like the shot that he received from Charles down the other end. Meanwhile, Charles Barkley has not missed a shot tonight. He's perfect from the field. He's perfect from the line. That's 16 points. He has seven rebounds to go along with those 16 points. I notice Chris got a bit of a cut on his uh, right arm, just on the inside part of his wrist, about two, three inches up from his hand area. Eagle couldn't get the jumper to go. Rebound comes off to Barkley. Hawkins comes away with it. Sixers on the run. They got a four on three. Barkley going for the lane. Got fouled if he did. Don Nelson goal for his third. And really unhappy with that call. Well, he's not happy with that one, Pete. He's unhappy with the one down here, saying that Rick Mahorn was moving and there should have been a foul call on Mahorn on the Warriors' penetration to the basket. That's the one that's got Don Nelson upset. And here 
Here's Charles Barkley looking for his first points of the second half. He had 17 in the first half. He is going to the All-Star game. He never really intended to try to make such a big issue out of that. It's NBA extra night, so we have some extracurricular activity going on. Here's the bumping. Look at this. Boom. Charles gives him a shot now, right in front of the official. No foul. Now watch. There we go. Give him another one. Boom. Now come on, Charles. Give him one more. Yeah. Boom. That's good. Give him another one. Okay. Yeah. Give him another push. Okay. Not bad. No fouls, of course, being called on the play. And that's why Don Nelson, of course, a little upset, but Chris holding his composure. And Charles obviously talking a little uh, stuff to Chris Mullen before, is telling him he's not going to be getting all those points this second half and getting away with uh, a lot of body contact, to that say the least. One of the things that uh, was on Chigo most of the time he was in there. Well, Mullen and Manute got him, and they're going to call a foul against Golden State this time. To be on, uh, they calling it on? On Chris, yes. Okay. It's it's the fourth foul now on Chris Mullen. There's that replay right on the wrist. You see Chris got him on the right wrist, pulled his arm off the ball. That was a good call. Charles's reaction to the place, and he wondering because the whistle didn't come right away. <laughs> Now he shakes his head. I tell you, Charles, what a piece of work. He has grown up a lot, though. He's become so much more consistent, uh, has become the leader of this ball club. He doesn't disappear like he used to line. Chris Mullen's been talking with Terry Durham, one of the officials, about this is on the run up by five. Five and a half minutes to go in the third. Hawkins over Garland. Got a little short and took a high kick off the front rim. Right over the glass, and the ball goes back to Golden State. There's Here Charles again. again. Right in front of the official. Mullen this is back. Looked like a sumo wrestling match. This is ridiculous they, they what they're letting go on here, Pete. This is ridiculous. This will get out of hand if we don't get a whistle pretty soon. Chris is doing a good job of keeping his composure. He's trying to say some of the officials. It's happened right in front of the officials, and there is no excuse for this to have this happening. Watch again. Here we're going to see. Look at it. They're going to go and give him a shot. A little bump there to push off. Now Chris goes ahead and gives him a little push back off. Here's the way they keep battling. But on team points for Tim Hardaway. And the opening minute of the play in the fourth quarter. Sir Charles Barkley. Well, with Charles, 22. Mullen. A three-point attempt wouldn't go. Charles Barkley the rebound. From here out of Cal Irvine. Derek Smith to Barkley. Barkley muscling his way in along that first line. But Hardaway gets it back. The short jumper, no good. Rebound pulled away. Anderson. Anderson off to Barkley. Barkley's got Richmond to beat. Well, Charles Barkley showing you why he's such a talent. Look at, he's grabbed on. Look at the strength, the body balance, and the soft touch. He's able to get it up there knowing that he was going to go to the bounce tonight. If you're looking at the box scores of the Sixers during this winning streak, it's almost identical every game for Charles Barkley. Somewhere in the 20s or low 30s in points. Hitting about 10 of 14 or something like that from the field. They give it to Barkley. Barkley finds the horn. Well, Nelson trying to bring in Bold, the whole 85 percent free throw shooter in limited playing time this year. 106-105, still Golden State up by one. 4.25 remaining. Barkley operating. Follows his own miss, drives it home. He has 29 Sixers at the lead. Boy, things really starting to turn now. Charles Spence a foul call against the Warriors. Charles Barkley, look at this move. Now watch him explode right back up. He knew he missed a shot. Look at the timing. He's there to put the dunk back in. Great play by Charles Almost Barkley. like a one-man alley-oop there. And good defense now. Hardaway will inbound it. Stolen by Barkley. Uh, Hardaway comes away with it. He's got Dawkins to beat. Barkley blocked it. And he had to make up some ground to catch up with Hardaway, who moves pretty well. Well, it was a good play by Higgins to knock it away. Now, just watch Charles. He waits. He times it beautifully. And 
Yes, but unfortunately, though, for the Sixers, he did knock it out of bounds. Higgins tries one from out in three-point land. No, Barkley the rebound. Sixers can do if he makes this is take a one-point lead and give Golden State a chance to win the game with 19.4 seconds to go. And that will be.